Algebra 2, Unit 5B, Study Guide, Part 2, Problems 21 through 29. Okay, so looking at number 21, we're going to see if we can use the property of equality. I notice I have one log base 10, understood base 10, equaling another. So if that's the case, I can just set the log values equal to each other and then do the math. So we'll subtract 1 from both sides, divide by 4. x equals 6. Now here I have log base 6 of a value equals a number. So I'm going to need to switch forms. So remember that log ride motion 6 to the second power equals the value. So 6 squared equals 5x plus 4. That's just the motion to read a logarithm. And then we'll do the math to get x by itself. Subtract 4 and divide by 5. So x will equal 32 fifths, or if you divide that out, it is 6.4, I believe. Oh good, we're back to the property of equality. See how we have one log base, in this case 3, equaling another? And so we can set those log values equal to each other. So we'll subtract the 4x from both sides. So 2 equals 2x, divide by 2, x equals 1. Now as we solve, sometimes we're going to need to use the properties of logarithms first before we use the solving method. Because see how these two logarithms are pulled apart with addition? So we can condense them with multiplication. So x times x minus 3 equals 2. So log base 2 of x squared minus 3x equals 2. Now let's use that log ride motion to switch forms. So we would get 3, sorry, 2 to the second power, which is 4, equals x squared minus 3x. Now I'm going to subtract my 4. And we've got a quadratic, so let's factor it. I bet it will factor Two numbers that multiply to give us negative 4, combine to give us negative 3, yep, negative 4 and 1. So x minus 4, x plus 1. Alright, if we set those each equal to 0, our possible solutions are 4 and negative 1. Now we need to check them, go back to the original here. So if I plug in 4, I get log base 2 of 4 plus log base 2 of 1. Together multiplied log base 2 of 4, yes, the left side does equal the right side. If I plug negative 1 in, I get a negative log value, and I cannot have those. So x equals 4 is my only solution. 25, we've got the same case here. We need to condense. So 3x times 2x plus 1. And then I'm going to do two steps here in one. I'm going to rewrite in exponential form 3 squared and I'm going to distribute. So 6x squared plus 3x. Now 3 squared is 9, so I'm going to subtract that 9 over. I notice I can divide all of this by 3. So I'm left with 2x squared plus x minus 3. That will factor <clears throat> as 2x plus 3 times x minus 1. And then if we set those each equal to 0, so I'm going to subtract my 3 and divide by 2, so my possible answers are negative 3 halves and positive 1. And once again, if I plug in the first value, I'll get a negative log value. If I plug in 1, I get positive log values. 
them and that will work for me. On number 26, I can condense my two natural logs by multiplying. I'm going to go ahead and just multiply those. So I have x squared plus 4x. Oh, and I'm sorry, this is the one that we are going to leave off. So you do not have to work that problem. But let's look at number 27 here. Okay, so now we have some logarithms we can condense. So let's multiply that x across. So we get x squared minus 12x equals 3. Let's switch forms, okay? So let's do the log ride. So 4 to the third power and the 16, 64. So 64 equals x squared minus 12x. I just want to save a little space. I'm going to subtract that 64 over. And now I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give me negative 64 and combine to give me negative 12. Oh, 16 and 4. And let's make the 16 negative. So those are my factors. And then if I set them each equal to 0, my possible answers are positive 16 and negative 4. And then if I plug them into my original, 16 is fine, I get positive log values, left side equals the right side, but the negative gives me a negative log value. Um, and that would be an error. We can't have a negative log value. Now let's do some real life problems. Let's see if we can find number 28. All right, 50 grams of radium are stored in a container. The amount R in grams of radium present after T number of years is R equals 50 times base E raised the negative 0.00043T. After how many years will only 20 grams of radium be present? So we're gonna plug in 20 for R. And this is radioactive material, so it takes a while for it to decay go away. So the first thing we can do is divide both sides by 50. And when we do that, we will get 0.4 3t. All right, now I can rewrite this as a natural log. So it's ln, my value is 0.4, and then I remember we put the exponent on the right side of the equal sign. Now grab your calculator, because what you're going to need to do, that you can see, is take the natural log of 4 tenths and then divide it by that crazy decimal. And get ready for this answer, okay? 2,131 years. Long time for it to go away, <laughs> decay. 75 grams of radium are stored in a different container. So the amount present after so many years can be modeled by this equation. Will it take more years or fewer years for only 20 grams of radium in this container um, to be present? compared to part A. All right, so let's plug 20 in in this situation. We have our same crazy decimal, three zeros. So let's start by dividing by 75. Now, sometimes when you divide like that, you won't get an exact decimal, so don't round. Just keep it in fraction form. Zero, four, three, T. Okay, so now let's rewrite that as a logarithm. So log base E, and this is what it equals. The value goes next, and then the exponent here. Now we need to get T by itself, so we're going to need to divide both sides by that crazy decimal. 
So on your calculator, you're going to find first the natural log ln of 20 over 75, and then divide that by your decimal. And so it's approximately 3,074 years. So it's going to take more years in this case. All right, number 29. You deposit $1,000 in an account which pays 5% annual interest rate. After how many years is the balance $6,000? Use a log to solve round to the nearest tenth. Recall what everything stands for in this formula. So A is our ending amount, so we will put, oops, not 6,000, 1,000. And I think I was right the first time. Ending amount is 6,000. Sorry about that. Beginning amount is 1,000. Our rate as a decimal is 0 0.05, compounded quarterly 4, and then raised to the 4, and the years is what we're solving for. So that's why we're going to use a logarithm, because we have to uh, solve for the, um, I can say it, the exponent. All right, so let's divide by 1,000. That'll leave us with 6. Let's add inside the parentheses. So you're going to get 1 point. 0, 1, 2, 5. And now we can rewrite it as a logarithm. So log base 1.0125, the value is 6, equals 4t. All right, I think you know what to do. So do the change of base. Log of 6 divided by log of 1.0125, divide that by 4. And then to tenths place, hopefully, did you get 36.1 years? So a bit of time. All right, that concludes the key for Unit um, 5B Study Guide. Good luck on the test.